one challenge is one more one challenge is two and so we are going to the other side and we touch that oh it gives the other way around okay uh, hi i don't know whether i'm upside down or <laughs> i'm trying to see how to flip my camera is it upside down <laughs> Uh, let's see uh, rotate okay we put in the rotation it should rotate you am I upside down I don't know <laughs> okay we shall know later yeah today I decided to use Instagram at the same time use uh, uh, use uh, Facebook good many have been complaining that facebook and easter can you hear me if you can hear me please type thank you plenty uh, okay you're right please if you can hear me please type that you can hear me if you can't hear me you can tell me that you cannot hear me Today I'm on Instagram and the Facebook at the same time I use on, on what is going on? Please don't start. Um okay. Uh, I've used it before, but you know when you don't use something all the time. So, uh, thank you to all those that I tag in my classes. It's such an honor. Uh, it's indeed an honor. So now I have to go back. I do. I operate things by myself, so I do the sharing. I do. No, oh Lord. Google Play. Close the app. Don't need to use it challenge of using a phone and uh, I don't think I can share on Facebook at the moment so I have to take it out but if you can share me on Facebook or Instagram please send a link to someone it will be an honor thank you plenty thank you plenty I will be grateful yes I have to go to Instagram and I get the link right, right. <laughs> Interesting. To Jacky again, pull and pull up to fire. Yeah. Try to fire you to Jacky again, pull and pull up. Today I am on Instagram. Wow. It is good, interesting, very good to be on Instagram. I've always had my account there, so those who are following me. Definitely, because now my Instagram is not private. It's a uh, what name did I write? Oh Lord! Okay, today's the 19th. Zero 09. So it gets complicated when I have to do everything by myself. It wastes time. For crying out loud, what on earth? Drive has stopped unexpectedly report. Cause the thing. What is going on? Okay. S cancel. Yeah, you will excuse my gadgets, so we will. It's, it's kind of tricky. The gadgets I'm using. If 
on Instagram. You can see me there too. So uh, okay, it's uh, tricky, 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 but we shall see what to do. to restart any app sorry i haven't been using my phone so for certain things so it's more like i'm testing it to be able to see if i can i can operate on instagram too so you'll excuse me thank you plenty there is a there is a, a fast time for everything so we shall be fine slowly slowly telling me to close this up close that up whoa but instagram is a testing thing Okay, let's see now. Just close the app. We are having fire. We are having a fire. You just use me, please. We are having a fire in the house. London Bridge is falling. Yeah, I do. I do everything by myself. So you will please excuse me. Uh, you'll bear with me, and you will be patient with me. Thank you so much. Yes, when you love someone, you understand them, and you be patient with them. That is one thing I found out about life. La la la. Otherwise, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Um, by the names of Nachimera Esther Solome to the Instagrammers, uh, Google Play service has stopped. I don't need your services for crying out loud. Yeah, I am testing. Close the app, please. I'm testing my other gadget, so... We are going to have Mambo Yo take it us. Just to be patient with me, please. Today's class is going to be very interesting. Yeah, and it's the other gadget I have that is available at the moment. Uh, but we shall all be fine, so don't you worry about that. We shall all be fine. Fine. Say it stop. I need to work on the software of the phone. That is why. So you will have to be patient with me and we see how to indeed see that you go to the next level in our lives. You need to go to the next level, you learn to be patient with people. Good. And uh, one thing I know in life, unless you become patient with people, you'll never work with anyone. Unless you understand people, you'll never work with them. So I've, one thing that has helped me in my life is to understand people. And I've been able to work with them till death. But when you fail to understand people, and you want people to understand you, that is a selfish lifestyle. I don't live selfishly. So. But since we want our own things to be on top all the time, 
we end up adopting a selfish move. Yeah, but don't you worry. God is good. And that is his nature. Wow. Yes, that is his nature. Wow. That is his nature. Wow. Instagram, we are testing. The kit. The kit hasn't been working for a while, so... We are testing the kitty. The kitty, we are testing the kitty, my friends. So you'll bear with us, me and my gadgets. Lactic. Galactose. The giratons. The giratons. The glatons, the glatons, the glatons, the glatons. I wanted someone to tell me if they can hear me on uh, on Instagram, but no one is typing. I saw someone there. No one is typing, so it's it's fine at the end of the day. I will see how to survive. I will see how to survive. I'll see how to survive. Because many were, uh, were like, like, we can't access Facebook. I'm like, okay, we have a solution to your problem. Don't you worry. I'll work on it very, very soon. Uh, some play the ignore card. Uh, but it's okay. At the end of the day, what is important is to make sure that the assignment is done and it's done right. I know you have an Instagram account. I know. Because most of you love up keeping up appearances. You love keeping up no mlembe, ugenda no mlembe. Mlembe kwe gende de zengo gena na gogu ya kutuara. So. We gende de zo mlembe manaru. Mlembe. Guno mlembe gwa kuloko kata loko sei ya swala. Guno mula mbegwa kuloko kata loko se ya swara. Di guno mula mbegwa kuloko kata loko se ya swara. Di guno mula mbegwa kuloko kata loko se ya swara. Di guno mula mbegwa kuloko kata loko se ya swara. Guno mula Gwa kuloko kata loko se kwa swara Guno mule mbe gwa kuloko kata loko se ya swara Ti guno mule mbe gwa kuloko kata loko se ya swara Ti guno mule mbe gwa kuloko kata loko se ya swara Chatoloko se ya swara Swala <laughs> Ya swara, ya swara, ti ya swara. Ti gono mule me gwa kuloko ka, ta loko se ya swara. Ya swara, ya swara, ti ya swara, ya swara. Tiguno mule mbe gwa kuloko kata loko se kwa swara. 
down i'm testing the instagram because the gadget i'm using is uh, my gadget is new not too new it is old but it hasn't been working that much so having issues i don't know whether the volume is there uh but yes i'm i'm obeying a practical as you see me putting my life together in order to run my race it is all i'm doing Otherwise, because I'm still, I was still sharing myself. I do everything by myself, so you'll excuse me, my friends. But God is good all the time. God is good. On Instagram, our topic today is making definite decisions. Mm. Yes. No one song yo. Katindo was a katia yo sharing to mukomia wabala lava jack together wabala la uchigiti. Mbamanyi muli, muli kuso solo media, mubela kutiki toka, obula mbwada ku Facebook, business eliku Facebook, kutiki toka. Manyi joli, kati it is good, but position is upside down, yes. Now the challenge we are having is that one. Okay, let me change. Ha, now I have to change the seat. <laughs> oh, I am finished. Kati, nze gwe mba denga Kati tukenda kuflipping a Facebook kari tuchose a position. Ono tumuyimilize, ono tumukole wetu. Kapiso ke no no, no no good. Ne Facebook, tumuchose. Good, tumuchose za. Taina chakora. Good, kati ino kuda what? Yes. Kati, yes, rotate the device. You cannot turn your phone while you're live. Iyi. Okay. This is it. Kati nanti, ama zina ama higi ili lechega angola. Agenda kume nyo mkongo, yusikebe si manjiko inavi nyo mize. Kati nanti challenge jetulina, wetutula. Kale, tula ikatufi nye solution. Ate wachoga manti batu liruwa. Choka wanangi, chino chita. Chino kugambe chituzo, chena tuuse. Kale tuchuse charging report. Kwa siti tagala Instagram eveko. Charging it, nag. Then cool it. Or not to agent. Or cool up, whatever. Charging it to chit this is. Cut your nagaman, but no power. Is not. The goal of one no never didn't take a set. Charging. Now tell me for you. You know, there is always a first time for everything. Cut it on no charging. I'm gone. Good. Oli wakatawana wa ma Benjamin. Webi to webi beira. Zino bunovula mu wa kuyiga budi tunaku. Atabi tege rango mu yigi disa. Tom sekere rap sekere. Kati tulavo we no tugenda kuchichosa. Kuvanga chargers. I have very many chargers. But now I cannot tell which one is for who. So that is why that is the problem. Kati no no tumteke mu charging atu na tuwe ikanira. Tuwe na tuwe ikanira. E, kati nienda kuwela unangkebe lida batule. Iwa nanga wakula media house muli wakatawi. Kati no chitegete. Wamori wakatawi. 
Nova didn't want to be fully put in a younger singer when she was sung as together. Cutting an esta, ah, cut to simbly. Cut what simbula or Okova Kagua Gambi, ah, vendi the Chenvamba Garab and Namasa Kamuriva Katawi. I hung at Ginan got to know Yaruno Limba. Cut challenge yet to Lina. The Wazania Miskew and Magava Kovachi or Kongabagamba Namupi. Now cut it, Navigi Ramagis. Nse kastanku gambo limba lwenzi ni ilakonga kukuru teke yo e ugongo zina. Autuba tugenze ewa. Ewa kagwa mtestimoni. Awa Facebooku muja kwe soti. Nga wemba te mwagala kuja kunga mba chemuliko. Kuwanka cheno YouTube bate nyuma. <laughs> Mune wa Instagram. Oyo kagwa ya imba. Mumulabi ya good. Katinze kamba zini le gokola guwakulava. We cutting a teaching again, Nama. So, studio young, eh? Raj, we know we are not there. Represent something. I'll tell you with time. Cut you over to Zina. Cut to the Kulim Baraka Gwendabanga and Zina. Over Bari said testimony. Same bit I call it. Give me any song. The only time you'll know my story if you're following it. But if you don't, you follow. My story. So, katu wani keko kwa ino studio ya 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 Instagram. Very once katu yomu togo angu watu kwa. Has come. Will be easy if God is on your side. Turn the sorrows into dancing. Into brighter day. He's a good. Oyeva mwise kagwa. Kanyongeze kwa ino mziki nguhuli renga gugu ndavulu unji. Until you get a testimony. Katiche ndiko tochite gira. My story. Yes, wa inenge di jachu si zoru story yangi. Kagori <laughs> My stand has uh, legs, which look like that. Caterpillar style. Sockets. Inaka kwata na yem nang. To ako zenso viva, we shall pay for it. Nga bo vida ba wo bo vida ba. My story. Genda ku YouTube or Sangayo Kagwa Benjamin. I am a brand ambassador, so I do those things a lot. Good. Oh, you have me Kagwa Benjamin. Genda yo. 11 months ago, 11 K views. But your thumbs are music. I'm going to go to the YouTube. Don't you go? Don't you go? Don't you go? Au netuge na netuleta olio manatu yani. Omteke doyo yani. Ntate. Topic ya lelo make, making definite decisions. So. Tulavo ba na zukse. Tutege. Give gratitude. Muigo kuwa katondo obu de nzembabu ulida. Kuwanga wofa. That is it. Doza nchisembe seke mavega. Mbade sagala jiku atako. But. Sorry I'm a very picky person. And I love. Yeah I think they are we are fine. Tuagala kebe robo mumbe jayazu kuse. Oyeba mi senta ate gerbe. 
we support Uganda, we buy Uganda. Ndiko Instagram ne Facebook. Instagram same names as Facebook. Jinze kalala. Na Susan Tianze kalala. Gutu chima njoli kalala. Oh, what? Ataba lala weba nanda vila. Mamba, ngate munta de munta ana. Aweba kusima ngu genze. Oh, mtu genze. Aba Facebook mwenda kubadivya. Sanyuke Omwe antonzi wange Yes Burija matu wangabira Tetuti ina Facebook O ina Instagram Katisibalaba Nja kufalinda Mba wadeye da chika Tano zoka Kansanyuke Wabali mkwendo ganga ku Instagram or Wanda Vieta. That is how we support our friends' music. Nore okolava views inga zambu kanga ugamba. Ay! Ngo kuma mungalo. Wakamu kama chatu koze wati ya mkama wako. Wala koze savantu. Evintu ya fene vigenda wa guru. Nzendo nga nyumirwa. Nga edi nita hatafuna views. Nga ipitu be msa sula hafisi buku. Tu wala tugenda. Nzo yunga nyumiruwa. Mbade nkewe lwa na zukuse. Manyo kusigala mchitanda tenga ntude wana. That is Uganda's Got Talent. East Africa. Whenever you go live, you're representing your country. You're representing your God. You're representing your names. You're representing your legacy. The tribe you come from. You're representing your father and your mother. So it is up to you. I'm representing the names I carry. Two of them are not mine. They just transferred them. Oh, yeah, you go, I say yes, so. Kakaro na ukolevi visa wazi. Yes. Charging nkulavo ukolevi tali yu. But chidja kugwa. Yonaje chidi. Yes. 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 Okay. Let us brag about God. Banange. If your birthday is today. Brag about God. God has been so good to my life that I don't know how to put it. The fact that I am breathing, the fact that I was able to grow, <laughs> that's enough. Have you got this? It's cool. Kuwanga akuze ya kola, umlamu ya kola. Si mofu. Brag about God, my friend. As you call one another, eh, erinya ya gengandi wandi sebo vi esta. Ha! It is esta solo mendi wandi sebo vi. This is serious. Can we do it? We've have written songs vanange. Erinya ya gengandi wandi sebo vi nyo. I'm dancing on Tate's song. Hey! Ojo kumanyira nticha kata wano kusinza katonda. Nga baku zinga. Ngolia omuka buge na guba. Mpere za kajiku. Nga tusa ula na kusitula mkono. Just to drink your own tea. Ojo kumanya chiche njogeda. Kwa right now to chite geda. Rachi, you still can walk around. You don't carry. No one carries you. I have a missing Gabi. Brag about God. 
Manioli kumulimu, abamuli ku lunch time. Because it's 1 p.m. Ugandan time. 1.56. Depending on where you are. Hey, you don't know. Because omulamu ya akola. Life, make, when you have life, you're going to get the money. But if you don't have life, how are you going to get the money? Time is life, not money. But when you learn that, you'll stop being selfish to yourself. And I go to see him what Bono yi ganti no katonda ya ine songa wachi ya tonda avantu vavidi. You'll stop being a devil's advocate. Tate wevali mana tu wevali. We love you. Sorry, I've told you the music, but since I'm not Facebook app, Taya got a cool little music with Magamba Namo Bia. But now getting near the Kaleka syndicating at the right day in Akuba Esther. See, now we want this every week at your day, you'll take them to be together. And when you write it wrong, people put in. <laughs> put in the, the name got a I know some people's brains cannot think beyond what they see. So we are very sorry. Got to talk about a whole to look at any them. So I have to to send it out. I wrote it wrong. <laughs> Otherwise. Yeah, Kale. Uh, one more song and I go to, to the class. You need to have a testimony. You need to give gratitude. You need to thank the Lord. Mana namu video bitch dong or sit up and go. Oh, you want me to send namu video? I've like Katonda ya two way Uganda. I want to watch you, man. Tikitondo wangejari. Zaba nange singa na lima nyoku yimba. Usa. Gwansi wa musinji gwansi. Mamunu unya munyanja. Mana kubaka, aina afrigo, kubaka mungengeli ya afrigo, na ulira nge chintu checho. Ani, ya tani. Hei. Sorry, I've told you the music festival got in such so so up to enjoy that new. Nayenga lujimba lwa namu biru. Bamu ise namu biru Rachel. She's a Ugandan. Put on YouTube. You get all her songs. Yenani niviona. Kabaka we guru viona vifuga. Hello, Kavanda Fahad. We are testing Instagram if we can always come back anytime. Nayenga, today's topic is making definite decisions. 
I do everything so it becomes a little complicated sometimes. Omlamu ya zina, omlamu ya kola, omlamu ya zara. So tuweba ze kukatonda vya tulina. Weba ze kukatonde yo joli vya kole devi indi. Weba ze katonda. Bamuno nyamu nyanja. Bamuno nyamu sozi. Genda tusukume. Anya ya tonde vitonde. Anya ya teke kama wanga. Anya ya tende komo zade. Anya ya lembe kaga yanja. Bamuno nyamu nyanja. Bamu no nyamu sozi. Go to YouTube and find a lady called Namubiru. Yeya senge kevi. Ya waniri densu. Ya wanyama chikala. Singa na zane sabu abisinga. so much namuviru that is how we support one another that is how i know how to support people you don't need to support me to support you that is not my style so when you teach your kids to do that they'll be better than us with time unfortunately those are things we do not know and we do not do and god has left several times i pray to the lord that uh, god does not pass you by because the season we are in, passing you by is very easy. Otherwise, it's always an honor to support Uganda the way I know. And I'll do it until I can do it no more. I was trying to correct the name. I wrote my name wrong. Yeah, so... And you know when you put in a wrong name, you will not find the thing. So that is the challenge. Namubiru. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So if I have three, one, two, three, three people on Instagram, I am about to symbol in another style. Not symbol data, by the way. Olutalo, ngaluwede, aya, luzalemiampia, aye, aye, engurezi masa, masa, olutalo, ngaluwede, 
Aya, aya. Avalani va mukama. Aya, aya, aya. Tu yimbe. Aya, tu saka nyefe. Amalobo ziwa guru. Aya, oh, aya, kona tugende. Nemi teru jenseno, okulabo mulo kozi alo katutiki, engule zima samasa. Ay, 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 tuli ambara, ay, kona, God endowed Uganda with everything, but there is always stretch to look for it elsewhere, and we end up meeting the devil. Ay, 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 kona tukende, kona, ay, 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 Correcting my name, sorry. And as you enjoy the music of Decident Disco when I'm dancing. Ay, 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 okusiva nga kuedei. Ay, okukaba nga kuedei. Yeah, yeah. Ay, 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 Yesu wafenga komye wawu. Ay, 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 ay,
katonda sigalanga mulonji twagale katonda nabantu twagale katonda nabantu ngabo yagala abantu bayimirire nawe bo boy go kuyimirira nabalala ngabo yagala bakwe 100% na ujo boko lango ujo wabano because ebintu bya katonda bye wonyisa tomanyi gwa agenda kukozesa to answer your, your prayers that is what God does. Many people take things for granted. Katonda na jana lete vintu ya wena avizayo. Raja avizayo. We are living a selfish lifestyle. Tuwa galo kutuyamba. Nete tuwa galo kuyamba vantu. Te tuwa galo kuyimilida na vantu. Nete tuwa galo kutuyamba. Tuwa galo vantu wa manye vitu kwa atako. Tuwa galo vantu wa manye businesses za fe. Wa manye makanisa za fe. Tuwa galo because Teddy ya gala kuwela na project na vila mwao. Na ito wa gala vantu wa manye vintu vya fe, but we have failed to reciprocate it and do the same for people. And that's a very selfish move, and most of us are still stuck on the same level. Bwe wali nyavoti, o ina uwatuka no kuama. And now you have stunted growth. And the people whose heart is open to love people. They are climbing so fast. Through helping others, they are climbing so fast. People who remember who stood in the gap when they could not. People who remember in their foundation who stood there. Those people are way above. They are way above. And let me tell you something. You can never be above a man or woman. Who stood in the gap for you? Who opened that door? You will never. Why? They are the source. That is one thing I love about God. When he makes you the source, you're better than those who come to pick the water. But at the, at the same time, when you become the source, you need to be careful also. Because the devil loves confusing. He's the master of confusion. And he loves delaying. So he'll give you the spirit of procrastination. And when you start to procrastinate when you're the source, you'll never get everything out. People will come and take the water, take the water and leave you with your source. So if you are the source, I want you, there are people God has chosen to be the source. I know very many. And when I look at the people they've helped who don't remember, I laugh my head off. Why? Because it, they keep going back when things have failed. They're like, oh, I had progressed, but now I don't know what happened. It is because you don't know how to go back and thank the Lord in that specific place. The Lord, the place the Lord used, the ground the Lord used, the people God used. People forget. There is something that uh, has happened for two days in a particular place. Why? the high priest the lord the high priest the lord used to start an altar the high priest went back but no one got to know and it was out of the blue what happened in two days in that place hey you don't know it was beyond imagination i was like oh my goodness when the high priest goes back to the well when the high priest goes back to the altar that he built, when it's God who started it, it's another story altogether. But if you don't have a, a personal relationship with Christ, you don't have a personal relationship with Until you're the high priest. Not everyone is a high priest, by the way. I'm talking about number six. God calls them. Everyone, according to First Peter, we the book of First and Second Peter, we are high priests. But the ones God chose to perfect the church, the army of six, the office. I'm talking about the office. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the office. When you understand the concept of the army, the offices in the army, 
now we will be on the same page but since you're not ready to take in the truth and the, about the army for now let's enjoy one each other's company call it company please call it company i pray you don't get caught off guard off the guard okay i think i put it right so i've done my part Okay, I've finished correcting my uh, my name. Let's move. Making definite decisions. Uh, many people find it difficult to make a decision they feel completely comfortable with. They hesitate and weaver between two options in the hope that someone else will make the decision for them. Life gives its treasures to those who make positive and definite decisions. These people are not swayed to and fro by every new idea or set of circumstances. Once they have made a decision, they do not change their minds. The fear of making the wrong decision causes hesitance, tension, and uncertainty. But it is better to make wrong decisions and learn from your failures than to live with indecision. If you let God guide you, you have a source of wisdom that becomes more powerful and more more powerful the more you use it consider every decision in prayer before god spend time with him consider alternatives and open yourself to the guidance of the holy spirit when you feel in your heart that you should move in a certain direction go forward decisively conscious of his indwelling presence then you will live with confidence let us pray Heavenly Father, we give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor. I thank you for this time. I thank you for your people. I decrease and you increase. Give me the right words, the right articulation of words. Uh, straighten my nerves. Take away uh, anxiety. Take away panicking. And give me stability in, inside out. Holy Spirit, this is a season that is very difficult. And different people are helping us to go through the season smoothly without worrying about this and that, getting comfort, because most of us have lost our loved ones, and that has created a big hole that some of us do not know how to shift and go to the next level. But Father, I pray that you use me as a vessel today to speak a word of hope, a word of wisdom, a word that brings change, because I am a game changer. I am tired of the same routine. I want change. And when you want change, it has to start with you. You have to be the change for others to change. Because when you want people to change, you need to change as a person. You need to change as a leader. I thank you for giving me, for qualifying me to teach leaders. Because not everyone has that. Many have taught leaders, but they're not leaders themselves. Because we don't understand what they call leadership. And uh, as a leader, you have to have a particular character. For you to be able to lead your pack to your final destination. I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor. Quicken the footsteps of every man and woman. He's supposed to be here. Touch our hearts and deliver us to understand your word. I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor. In Jesus' mighty name I believe and pray. Amen and amen. Now, there is a word I wrote. I bring back reminders. Some of you jump the reminders when you find them on my, on my, because these are classes. Everything you find on my status is a class. Some of you already have them. Some of you ignore them. Some of you are these are reminders that God gave us signs god warned us and we did not listen i sent out these reminders everything that you see that has my name that is god's work i've been writing for years 
but in 2015 i was confirmed i was going through some of you know my story some of you don't and uh i'm supposed to repeat it those are instructions so that people understand some people don't get the point it's because your assignment does not involve what i do how you're called and how i'm called are two different things my purpose is different from yours your purpose is different from mine so you cannot stand in someone's purpose and you drive how they should run it when we get to that level you'll be fine unfortunately those who went before us love putting us in a cover now if you do not know who called you it is very easy to alter god's work i want you to be careful out there uh battery i have to keep checking my gadgets because yeah so i was still telling you those who don't know me and those who haven't been following because the man who did these apps left a point where you're supposed to share it was not for fun god knew that we will need these apps this time but we have failed to understand how God works. God knew that this time would come. There is nothing that has happened to us without God knowing. So there is nothing surprising God. Most of you are surprised with the season, but uh, some of us who have walked with the Lord all our lives, we get the point. Some of you, I, let me go back a little bit. I come from a family where by the time I was born, my parents knew the Lord. My father, I come from a family of four children. I happen to be number one. Now that is my nuclear family. I happen to be number one. And uh, I have one blood brother. My dad gave birth to one boy who follows me the second time so it is a girl a girl a boy and a girl why do i go back there when i'm working with people i love finding outside things about people how why it helps me know how to work with you well a first born does not behave like a second born or a third born or a last born and if you're the type who reads the holy bible you know the quran is the version of a bible flipped the Quran has no New Testament. It was never introduced to them. The Quran is the Old Testament. Everything they do, they follow the Old Testament to the dot. Those who are real Muslims. Muslims come from Ishmael. And Christians come from Isaac. It is Sarah that created that. Because she lacked the spirit of waiting inside. Ishmael was not supposed to be born. But because man does not know how to wait upon the Lord, she ended up creating her own things. Those I'll give you in bits, but I've been teaching. I, I, talk, I talk on different topics according to how the Lord assigns me the topics. I did not go to a Bible college or a seminar or anything. I've been taught by the Lord. The six years I've been away from home. My whole life has been church. I'm a child with a background of a Sunday school. And I did not only be a Sunday school OG. I became a Sunday school teacher. And both my parents were once Sunday school teachers. My father was called to be a, an elder in church or a high priest or a bishop at the age of 19. On the 3rd of September, he made 66 years. So he's been in service for 46 years. My dad has been saved for more than 50 years. But the igniting fire, you know kids who get saved in school and start hiding? But the one who ignited the fire, if we are to count from that time to death, it should be 49 years. Igniting fire of exposing yourself. That, hey, Father, mother, I am saved. It is 49 years. But giving his life to Christ, 
Tata is more than 50 years. I know there are fathers who are in that range. And in service, there are fathers who are. There are some who, in Africa, we have those who are more than 46 years. My dad is 46 years in service. Serving the Lord does not mean having a church. Does not mean collecting numbers. Serving the Lord is walking into that which God called you. Not what man desires. I am talking about when God has called you to serve God. That whatever you're doing is for God. Not for your pocket. I want you to get the difference. Tukopamoja, you say sawa. This is not a church. This is a class. We laugh. We cry. We share testimonies. My own experience of 37 years and experience of other people that I've worked with. I'm a girl who is exposed because I come from a traditional home. And a traditional home that influences a nation because of my lineage. Those things you're supposed to know them about people when you're working with people. Why? It helps you to work with people right. It stops the selfishness you have in your heart. The season came out. When God calls you, he nurtures you. Until a particular time when you have the key. You know, in the seasons, we have winter, we have summer, we have autumn, we have fall, depending on the country you're in. We have spring. Fall, the leaves fall, and the trees dry up, and we go into winter. Winter is very cold. I come from a tropical family, a Surrey country. I come from Kampala, Uganda. I used to have a habit here when you ask me which country you come from, I would say the UK. Now it is up to you to ask me which part of the UK. Then I'll tell you Uganda Kampala. If you don't ask me beyond that, I come from the UK. Let us continue. So, I've been in church my whole life. Uganda, as per this year, is 40 years when salvation came out full beam. And I happen to come from one of the church mothers in Uganda. My dad is 20 years younger than that church. So, when that church started, my dad was already an elder in church. When he was 19, he became Omkadewe Kanisa. Then the following year, the church that became his mother... was born and it's the first papyrus church in uganda that is Kabo, a redeemed church of christ why do i give you a background you need to know who is talking into your life where do they come from everyone comes from a home which home do you come from why there are seven things that influence your life your name your country your tribe Your calling, your totem, let's go back, your name, your country, your tribe, your totem, totem is, it's your, your tribe is, your totem, your clan. And your calling. Number seven would be your age. These seven things play a very big role in your life. I happen to come from a country that has kingdoms. God works with kingdoms. That's why you've seen that the United Kingdom is on top of things. And God works in egos. And the ego represents the United States. When you see an ego that's a president according to the United States, 
when they talk about the queen and the king, the UK comes in the mix. And the UK all over the world dominated. And God allowed it because it's a kingdom. This year, my country will be making 60 years. And I happen to come from a lineage of leadership. Which leadership I am part of through inheritance. Why do I have to tell you all this? I happen to be one of the stones that the Lord is using in the season to help us get out of the season. I've been teaching officially. It started in 2020. It has been a very tough season. The devil hates people who open for his camp to get out. I know those in, that read the Quran you've read about Moses, you've read about Joseph, you call him Yusufu. In the Bible, you've read about Joseph, you've read about Jonah, you've read about Jeremiah, you've read about Ezekiel. Those people died, but their mantles did not die. Every year, every generation, they got a mantle from those guys. The only person, there are three people in the Bible that never tasted death. We have Enoch, we have the mother of Jesus, and we have Jeremiah, Elijah. Those three never tested death. Who took their mantles? They had to train. But it's only Elijah God told to train the next in line. With Enoch, God took him out because of his walk. We've been looking at a man walking right. In every family, there is that one man who is a key to the family. For God to enter fully and use the family according to their purpose and calling on earth. And I happen to come from a house whose father was the first one to give his life to Christ in his lineage. I am a granddaughter, I'm a great granddaughter to a man, he was called Luwalala. His wife, they used the title Kabeja. Up to today, we are still trying to find out her name. But she carried a mantle of a king. And I come from a country where women back in the day, you don't respect leadership coming from women. So, back in the day, it was so cruel. It was only men to sit at the table to speak. Our friends from the UK, came to Uganda. You've heard of a man called Sir Henry Martin. Different explorers came to Uganda. The queen died, but if you go back into her history of her great-grandparents, like four generations behind her, those mantles of kingship, queenship, she got it, the thing came following them. Her, one of her great-grandmothers sat on the seat. You can go back into history. They had it. So these people come to Africa to check out Africa. And a young man called Sir Henry Martin. You can go. The information is there. It is public information. I got information when I left my country. I love reading. It wasn't my intention. My intention. But I love reading. I just love reading. It just happened. 
when God chooses you for a particular season, he equips you. Every information I picked was just in line with the season. Some, it came from friends. Friends would give me books. And I happened to have the right books for the season. I did not just happen. I've been in training for more than 34 years for such a time as this. But we have a human mentality when you've not seen someone in school, then they are not capable. People from the UK, when they came and penetrated Africa, they saw that we have the wisdom, but it needed enhancing. They started to teach us things. I have learned to appreciate. Our culture is very good. I love culture. I love learning things from other people. But when I learn them, I don't do as they do. I take the idea and put it in my own lifestyle and I see how I fit in. Why? Because when I try to fit in other people's lifestyles, I'm always a failure. I don't copy and paste. It's only the devil that copies and pests. And since I am not a daughter to the devil, I do things my way. I learn and practice until I make it. I thank God that I have a teachable heart and uh, every person I have met in my life has taught me something that became a stone. I'm not self-made and I don't fake it to make it. I do the real deal until I'm up. When it's not a real deal, I don't engage because I know what I want and I know who I am and my final destination is heaven. What I do on earth is not for keeping me here. It's not for maintenance. Everything since I was a child, I aim at making God happy. Not man. Why? Man does not appreciate. Man is a user. Why? Man sinned and gave authority to the devil. Open your Bibles and first Kings. Because you need to know who you're working with. Their level of education. For you to help them. Their level of education. But man has used the fact that we don't. We are ignorant. To destroy us. To step on us and he passes. And the devil is the one that uses the man. So you need to understand. This body is a house. Now this house hides people certain things inside now there are two options you can allow to harbor the devil or you can allow to hide god it is up to you but they are spirits in the old testament god was in three but that three was one that is why our friends who are muslims don't believe that god gives birth why no one has ever explained to them how jesus comes into existence they don't go beyond that. They don't know it. So what they do is to argue. When you argue, you'll never learn. And you'll die a loser. Ignorance is no defense. Knowledge is power. You need to learn things you talk about. You need to understand things you talk about. Don't just copy and paste. Because so and so talked. Because so and so said. One of the reasons why we are failing, we think it is us who know more. And that has created a very big hole. And we look like losers every day. Whenever you look like a loser every day, you'll lose for the rest of your life. So, on that note, yearn to be, yearn to be someone who loves knowledge. When you yearn to get to that level, you're going to be very happy. But if you don't get to that level, I cannot help you. It will be very difficult. It will be very, very, very difficult. 
until you get to that level of understanding that it's not only you who knows, there is somebody else who knows, then you'll be happy. So when we open our Bibles, the book of First Kings, I am a service provider. I got tired of our service providers. You pay for, you pay a lot of money and they give you half-baked work. In the season, I decided to open a book and a, a page, a face, a WhatsApp page, and I called it uh, service providers because I was tired of how service providers are giving us work because the work is half-baked. I hate half-baked work. We pay a lot of money for half-baked information. So I started up a group and I called it service provider. I sent service providers. I sent out a link. I opened it in February 2020 on the 21st. And uh, I used the profile picture and I put forum. When you are seated with a computer, that picture, I got it, I think, off the internet. Then uh, I wrote what iron sharpens iron in service delivery on an international level, creating more jobs and having a large market within the industry we operate. And I put scriptures, Psalms 23 verses 1 to 2, James 1 verses 17 and Proverbs 3 verses 6. Now it is up to the person to go ahead and read those scriptures. I am a service provider in line with the word of God. Why? The word, the only book that has life is the Bible. Everything you do out there is in here. We wouldn't be failing if we were using this money. But we are losers. Every year we lose. We make losses. Why? God comes last. We only seek God when we are failing. Since I'm tired of losing and being a loser and seeing others lose, I came out. I teach, I mentor. I mentor leaders because when the leadership level straightens up, the subjects don't have a choice but to fall in line. I have seen people who believe, when you believe in someone, you're able to listen to them. But when you don't believe in someone, You'll never listen. Why? The Bible says that the sheep hears the voice of the shepherd. Many of you have loved your leaders that you only do what they do or what they say. When another person speaks, you don't listen. And that has led us to be losers for the rest of our lives. To be in bondage. Let me use the word bondage. But when God was creating us, he created male and female. Male and female gives birth. In the Bible, in the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, we see the fivefold ministries, and that's our army. If you are in the army, the concept of the army was got from the Bible. That's why I told you, everything we do is here. Their concept came from here. In the U.S., they have the Air Force. They have the Navy SEALs. They have the National Guard or the Coast Guard. They have the Army itself. And they have the Marine. They created another part for number six and they named it the Space Force. So they get men from here and they put them under the Space Force. And that came from the Bible. Why? We have the fivefold ministries. They are to perfect the church. Where we have the teacher where we have the evangelist, where we have the prophet, we have the apostle, and we have the pastor. Those are five. That's why they call them the fivefold ministries. Then we have number six, that is the bishop, the high priest. They come from the, the tribe of the Levites. Now, All that came in when to, to single it out 
it came in when Jesus was proclaimed, was announced. And Isaiah in the Old Testament is one of the people or the prophets that announced Christ before he was born. And when you go to the book of Matthew, that is where you're going to see Jesus. And you're going to see his genealogy in the book of Matthew. And when you go to the Old Testament, you're going to still see Jesus' genealogy in the book of Genesis. And when you follow Jesus' lineage, it has a lot of things. The way you have your own lineage. We always hear people say the Lion of Judah. I used to hear that thing and I had never thought about it. Lion of Judah, we worship you. The Lion of Judah. The root of Jesse. The Lion of Judah, the root of Jesse. I used to not to understand it. In my local language, they would say, Chikolo Chayese. Polo Gomaya Yuda. Chikolo Chayese. I did, it, it had never rung a bell until this season. I sat, I, I have certain things in my life. I have traits. I have uh, character. I have things about me that uh, as I've been working with people, I started hating who I am. Why? People were complaining about my sensitivity. Why I have, why ask questions? Why am I detailed? I don't have a summary in my life. That is not to me. And uh, the friends I worked with made me hate that part of me. Not all. A few. I am a picky person. I am a detailed person. I am a why person. My dad is a why person. You get, we get some of these things from our parents. Some of these things are in the DNA. It's like the way I had started hating my name Esther. Because every time out here, the name Esther, I have made a mistake. <coughs> and I started following that in 2010. And I'm like, why is it that when I make a mistake, my name is pronounced right? When I have not made the mistake, hey, I'm engineer, I am sitati, I am baby. I'm like, what is wrong? It is when I, until when I came to this country and this country made me love my name. Then one time in 2018, I was watching the movie of One Night with the King, the book of Esther. And I found out that Esther is not a name. Esther is, means hidden in the Hebrews. The seven things I mentioned, I talked about a name. Your name influences everything about you. Your name is your identity. Your name is your brand. So you have to be careful. I have a class of, I've done it before, identity and branding. I'll bring it back in line with the word of God. I know you have friends who have taught and written books about branding, but they did not bring the concept of the Bible into their books. I am a service provider in line with the word of God. I train, I teach, I encourage, I stand in gaps. I don't need to know you to do that. At first I used not to, at first my territory was very open. When the season came in, because now the one who created me gave me an assignment, I started to zero it down. I'd only do when he says so. Why? I am just a custodian. I keep going back and forth. I'm not supposed to be doing that, but the one who called me and sent me told me to do that. So I follow only the one who sent me. I am in first, when you open your Bibles in Second Timothy, Second Timothy chapter two. Second Timothy chapter two and verses four. No soldier in active service gets entangled in the ordinary business affairs of civilian life. He avoids them so that 
he may please the one who enlisted him to serve. I happen to be on the team of the, the six men and women God chose and gave titles or offices. I happen to sit in number six. I happen to be the soldier number six. Those who go to church and your pastors have never told you about the fivefold ministries, they did very wrong. And when, because they don't teach about it, we have very many false officers that sit in these offices of a prophet, of the apostle, of the teacher, of the prof, of, of the pastor. Most of you don't differentiate. Everyone you call them pastor, no, that is wrong. Many of the things you hear is pastor, prophet, and apostle. They normally don't talk about the evangelist and the teacher. All of us are supposed to evangelize, but there are men and women called in that office. You'll find that everyone can teach, but there are those God called to be teachers. We have teachers in the Muslim setting. I have met those that are called to teach. For you, you call them imams. You know your things, right? Yeah. They teach in the mosque. They are called to teach. But for us in the Christian setting, we know the apostle, the ap prophet, and the pastor. Now, you call everyone pastor. Whenever you don't single them out, you're going to have a lot of problems. Talk to your pastors in your churches. Let them tell you who they are among the five. Becoming a bishop God chooses the bishops. He chose bishops when we were still in their mother's womb. You don't have to stay long in something to be called a bishop. No. Before they ordained you, ordained you to be a bishop, it's already in your, your bloodline. It is already there. It started in the spirit. It does not start in the physical. If you were put in the office of a bishop, because you, big, you give a big tithe, because you've been in ministry for so long, please go back and ask the Lord who you are. Otherwise, you're going to operate in a wrong office. And that is going to be trouble. Whenever you operate in a wrong office, you're going to struggle for the rest of your life. You're going to struggle like these people who tell us she's a woman, she has breasts, she goes into her periods, she has a woman, she says she's a man. That is how your life is going to be when you're serving the Lord. So before they ordain you for anything, being active in church, attending everything, does not qualify you to be called a pastor or to be ordained a pastor. Before you go to Bible college as a pastor, ask the Lord who you are, your real calling. Because the seven things I said, six of them are supposed to rhyme with your calling. What are you called to do? All of you are supposed to be service. You're supposed to give service. You're supposed to be servants. But in what capacity? It's not about the overfeeding. No, my friends. You want to know who you really are? Pay attention to the Holy Spirit. And you will know who you are. Most of you have struggled so much because you're operating in the wrong office. That is why you keep jumping. Today you're selling tomatoes. Tomorrow you are, I think I want to sell clothes of children. I, I think I want to sell perfumes. I know how they are good. I, I think I want to be a barista. Like, you're doing it for survival. We need to stop living a life of survival. Then you're like, ah, today I think I am a Muslim. Ah, I think I'm tired. Today I'm a Christian. My friend, do you know why we have Muslims? Before you give your life there. Can you handle their lifestyle? Can you... Real Muslims don't drink alcohol. Real Muslims do not abuse Real Muslims pray five times a day. Real Muslims don't miss this wala. Real Muslims are not selfish. Real Muslims stand in the gap for people. Real Muslims don't kill anyone. I am talking about the real Muslims. I'm not talking about those who hide in there. Real Muslims speak the truth. Those are 
Abraham's first child, the firstborn of Abraham. Isaac was God's firstborn. But according to man, Ishmael is the firstborn. And there is a blessing of a firstborn. I'll teach you, don't worry, just to keep up with the pace. When you don't understand, you say, please, I have not understood. Can you go back? I'll go back for your sake. Don't you worry. We are called to do that. Those who serve the Lord go back and correct things. They don't just do things for... When you feel you're losing it, you need to go back to the ground and go back where it all started so that you can fix the things. But if you're the type history is none of your business, you are in trouble. I hear people, I tell, you use this scripture the wrong way. Isaiah 43 and verse 19. I have heard people teach it, but it comes from Revelation 21. It's a reference. That when the old things are gone, then you say, don't you go back there, don't you go back there. Those people don't read the Bible very well. Please, when you sit in anyone's class, go back and read the Bible on your own. And understand the scripture. Because you need to have a personal relationship with Christ. But we have allowed the pastors to be the bridge in our lives. They are not supposed to be the bridge. It is Christ who is the bridge. They work for Christ. That is their boss. So if you think you don't understand what they are saying, please go upstairs and talk to the boss who called them. Go upstairs to the doctor. Go upstairs to the Lord and talk to the Lord about it. They are supposed to guide because they are shepherds. Psalms 23, go read it on your own. I will come back and teach it because now I've opened Instagram. We were testing, testing.